Taking inputs. In fact, we are learning that the Election Commission of India uh, has written to Khadi over Jairam Ramesh and Pawan Khedha's own remarks are on the result of the Haryana polls. The EC has said that the remarks are unheard in the rich democratic heritage of the country. It's far from a legitimate part of free speech and rejection of the will of the people. Remember, uh, the Congress, uh, including the leader of opposition, have alleged uh, fudging of the results due to perhaps uh, EVM tampering. In fact, for more details, let's quickly go across to Pallavi Ghosh, who's joining me on uh, the phone line. Pallavi, are we now to expect the EC to entertain the request coming in from the Congress party? Well, they've already got time at the election commission and it's going to be a huge delegation with Amishay Banu Singhvi, KC Venukopal and also interestingly Bhupinder Hudda, Jairam Ramesh and all of them are going to reiterate the points that they have been making since yesterday and something which even Rahul Gandhi made. They said the first two hours of postal ballot counting gave a huge surge to the Congress party but the once the boxes opened, the results went completely to the contrary. So the insinuation coming in is on two folds. One, that there was a deliberate attempt to demoralize the counting agents of the Congress party by the slow declaration of elections on the EC website to which the EC has already rejected it Akanksha yesterday in its detailed statement and the second point that they are suggesting is that there has been some kind of manipulation which has taken place but you know the EC already coming out with a response to Congress president just ahead of the delegation meeting them shows the thinking within the election commission as far as they are concerned they don't think that there is any substance in the kind of allegation or charges which are being made by the Congress party regarding the EVM machines. You know, when the EC says that such remarks are unheard in the rich democratic heritage of our country and the fact that the EC will be meeting the Congress delegation today evening itself goes on to indicate how democratic this entire process has been, not just in Haryana but even Jammu and Kashmir. Absolutely, and that's the point which is being raised, that if you don't have a problem with the EVM machines in Jammu and Kashmir, why do you have a problem with it in Haryana just because the results have not gone according to your plan and your expectations? Uh, you know, as far as the EVM machines are concerned, the election commission, I think it was a year or two back, had got uh, opinions, elicited opinions from all political parties. Many of them, like the Congress party, did not even bother to turn up. Mm. They were asked to display how the machines can be hacked. The EC had also decided to display play how the EVM machines cannot be hacked but the Congress had just not reciprocated and that's the point which the EC is making that if you had doubts about us we were ready to explain but you are not ready to listen.